Sunday night in Columbia, South Carolina, the 11th ranked Gamecocks hold off. The visiting Oklahoma Sooners and the Gamecocks take it in double overtime at 2-1 alongside Nancy Goffey. I'm Brad Muller. Gamecocks really had to battle in this one. They lost the momentum late, but they did a good job of resurging in that second overtime. Yes, and I'm sure Coach Smith should be happy that they came out with the result, but this is a great learning lesson this early in the season. Well, lots of learning lessons in this one. The Gamecocks seem to have all the momentum in the first half. They were on the offensive for much of the first half, had some opportunities, but had trouble finding the back of the net. Savannah McCaskill here, but a good save by Stady for the Sooners. Sooners had just one or two chances in that first half. Is Again, South Carolina played on Oklahoma's side of the field for much of the first 45 minutes, but struggled to get the goals until this happened. Deja Griffin, the junior, sets up the freshman, and Courtney Kaplan gets it to go for her first career goal, and the Gamecocks would go into the locker room leading 1-0 at halftime. Both teams got a little more aggressive in the second half, especially Oklahoma. They had some more opportunities in that second stand. The Gamecocks did have some chances to try to put the game away, but just missed some opportunities. Here's another chance for Sophie Groff that just went by the boards. You saw the earlier missed header, but here the Oklahoma had a lot of chances as well. They were really pushing it, got a lot more shots towards the net in the second half, and neither team would blink it, so it seemed. But Oklahoma, who had scored late against Furman, gets a late score here with 4.37 to go. It was Liz Keister with a game-tying goal, and that would force the overtime. And in the one overtime, it looked like Oklahoma was going to walk away with it. They had some scoring opportunities. Gamecocks had a few. Oklahoma had some momentum here. But again, those scoring opportunities kept going by the boards. Then Savannah McCaskill chipped that one in, and Lindsey Lane, her first goal, and it's the game winner late in the second overtime. And the Gamecocks improved to 2-0 with a 2-1 victory over Oklahoma. The Sooners dropped to 0-2.